started as a fight between two groups of girls and ended with gunfire. Now prosecutors just charged the 17-year-old gunman as an adult for shooting and injuring four teens last month. Sam Kramer joins us live tonight from the courthouse. And Sam, police say this guy was part of a gang. Yeah, hi there, Steph. Investigators say Avant Turner actually belongs to the Road to Millions gang. They say that is one of several groups that are currently feuding really all across Milwaukee. And tonight, new surveillance video shows the moment that investigators actually found Turner while they were looking for someone else. At a gas station near 49th in Villard. The nearly month-long search for a shooting suspect ends in a chase. You know, come on. We got to do better than this. You know, it has to get better than this. Yes, it really does. That was a neighbor's response the morning of May 26th, just after midnight near 38th and Roberts. Milwaukee police say a group of girls showed up to a house planning to fight another group of girls over boys and not being good friends. Then someone opened fire hitting four teenagers who were all females. This is not the way of handling those types of disputes. We stopped by the house Tuesday and found bullet holes in the neighbor's car and house. The criminal complaint says officers recovered 16 spent casings fired from a semi-automatic rifle, eventually tracing them to 17-year-old Devont Turner, which brings us back to the gas station. Thursday, surveillance video shows undercover officers spotting a stolen car. The four people inside run off, but officers arrest all four. They say Turner was in the back on the driver's side and inside the car. The complaint says officers found a semi-automatic rifle directly where Turner was seated. He faces six total charges, including four counts of first degree recklessly endangering safety with use of a dangerous weapon. And all four of those victims survived. Meanwhile, Turner actually made his initial court appearance here today. A court commissioner ordered his bond be set at $25,000 cash, and he can have no contact with any of those victims. We're live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Disturbing watching them all scramble like that. All right, Sam, thanks.